Hi, this is James from Your Mac in a Minute, and we're going to take a look at our first podcast, or video cast, I should say, on iWeb. It's called Getting Started with iWeb Part 1, and it's going to deal with themes, pages, and content. And the first thing I'm going to do is go down to my dock here and click on the iWeb icon, and it bounces. And right away, we're greeted with our theme chooser that lets us choose whichever theme we want. iWeb comes with quite a few different themes. And I'm going to go up here and we see all of them. There's a white theme. Main event, we have dark room. So you can see all the way from top to bottom quite a few. If that's too many to choose from, we can just sort them out by like choosing the iWeb 2.0 themes, which are the themes that came with the latest version. Or we can go to 1.1. Or even back to the original themes that shipped with iWeb 1. Black theme is very popular. In this case, I'm going to choose the 2.0 themes, and um, I think I'm just going to go with Modern Frame. So I'm going to click on that, and you can see that we have eight different pages here that we can choose from. We have the Welcome page, which is um, usually where I recommend everybody start. Then About Me page, Photos, My Albums, which is new with iWeb 2.0, Movie, Blog, Podcast, and also the Blank page, which is new with iWeb 2.0. Um, in the past, if you wanted to, just to create a page from scratch, you had to go through and try and delete everything, and that was a little difficult because some of the uh, some of the things that were on there didn't want to delete. So now you have the blank page that lets you do that. But uh, what I'm going to do for this is we're going to go ahead and choose the welcome theme, and I could either double click on welcome or I can click once so it's highlighted like that, and go down lower right here and click on choose and the theme pops up and it really is uh, it's a gorgeous theme Apple does a great job with their layout as we go up to the top left here we can see that it's just called site which is kind of a generic title and if you have more than one site within your iWeb theme it's going to populate over here on the left and that can get a little um, confusing if it's not descriptive so I'm going to click once and I'm going to wait a moment and then click again and you can see that the text is highlighted so that I can edit it I'm just going to change that to say James and then click again and if I want to I could do the same thing with welcome click wait a moment click again and maybe change that from welcome to hello and before I click out of here I want you to notice something up here in the top right it says welcome which is what the name of this page was and um, now once I click here it's going to change to hello so up in the header here we're going to see in this particular theme all the different pages listed by the title we give it right here I'm going to return back to welcome because that's that's the title I prefer and so it's back to welcome there now we already have some photos in here and we have what we call placeholder text and this is this is actually what they call lorem ipsum and the idea behind lorem ipsum is that it gives you a sense of the way the layout looks but the text obviously is in English um, and it makes it uh, real easy for you not to forget to edit your text so you don't actually publish a website with you know, just the, the regular text that came with it on there it's going to jump out and you'll be sure and change it yourself because I'm a slow typist what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on pages here and actually what I want to do first I'm going to click on the lorem ipsum text so it's highlighted you can see the little handles around the box so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this paragraph, do edit copy, come over here and do edit paste. The other way I could do that is command C and then command V for paste. And then you can see that my text is now in here instead of the lorem ipsum text. Let me go ahead and hide pages here so we have a little more room. The other thing I could do is if I click on it, highlight it like that, I can just start typing and it replaces the text automatically for me. In this case, you know, hello is a little short, so I'm going to go ahead and bring my paragraph back. And we also have these photographs. Let me close my inspector right here. We have these photos that we can change. And since they're placeholders, so I'm going to go down here and, and down near the lower right, you can see what we call the media browser. And I'm going to click on that. It's going to let us browse what's in our movies folder, what's in our iPhoto library, and what's in, what's in our iTunes library. So I'm going to click on Photos, and I have some photos here that I took at the Monterey Bay Aquarium not too long ago. 
I'm going to go ahead and just drag some over. This is a Garibaldi damsel. And uh, drag over a photo of the big aquarium. And go ahead and just grab this one of the jellyfish and everybody looking at them because, you know, no photograph is complete without showing some jellyfish at uh, the Monterey Bay Aquarium. And you can see it just replaced that previous text. Kept the same gray border. We're going to talk about how you can change that in a later video cast. But um, it's just that simple to add photographs. And we could add photographs in other places as well if we wanted. And we can do the same thing with audio. If I wanted to add a song here from Alanis Morissette, I could just click on it and drag it over and just drop it. Just that simple. Uh, or I could do the same with the movie. But instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can add another page and then we can talk about the movie at the same time. One way we can do is clicking on the file menu and we can click on new page right there or command N if we wanted. Or we can go down to this little plus here at the lower left and it brings up the theme browser. And I can click on movie. In this case I'm just going to double click on it. And there's our new page. Now as you look up here notice that movie has been added to welcome just as it has over here on the left we have welcome and movie and if I were to change this order it would affect the order that's displayed up here in the top right as well so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it back down here leave it the way it was and to add my movie I'm just going to click and drag it right on top of this um, placeholder image now iWeb is going to give me a warning because this uh, little movie I have isn't compressed very much and so it's about 20 megabytes. And it's going to tell us that hey you know your file is awfully big you might not want to go any larger than 10 megabytes. And um, normally I'd just take it back to iMovie and have it compressed but in this case since we're just doing a demo it's not something I'm going to worry about. So I'm going to click OK and um, this movie actually isn't black. I'm going to click on the play button and it brings up an image right there. I'll just go ahead and pause it. Now one of the cool things that um, came about in iWeb 2.0 is to change themes on the fly because in iWeb 1 if you want to change your theme and same with iWeb 1.1 you actually had to start over from scratch. You couldn't do it dynamically and now you can. So let's say I didn't want to go with this theme for whatever reason. I could just click on it here and switch over to notebook and we'll see what happens and it gives us this warning again. I'm going to go ahead and click on to the welcome page instead. And let's change that to notebook. And there's our notebook theme that we can use. Or we can go ahead and change it say to watercolor. Or go back to one of the original themes. We'll choose black. It came with iWeb 1.0. And you can see how it brought our pictures along at the same time, and we can move things around. It has does change the layout some. Our text, since it's black, isn't visible right now. Though if I switch over to white, it will be. As you can see there, how it's handled the photographs. So that completes our um, video cast on themes, pages, and content. But we'll have some additional getting started videos very soon.